हेलो एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे बी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट यू कैन ऑल्सो विजिट आवर वेबसाइट फॉर द आदर्श चैप्टर द वेबसाइट लिंक इज इन योर डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स So hello everyone now in this video i'm going to start from sum number 7 for the previous one please check the description box the link will be there okay so it's exercise 15.1 sum number 7 a in the figure given below ab is a diameter of the circle apbr apq and rbq are straight lines angle a 35 degree angle q 25 degree first you have to find angle prb prb that means you have to find this angle okay this prb okay so here if i let ap as the arc okay so in this segment prb and pab are equal prb and pab two angles are in same segment so that one equal to 35 degree so your first answer 35 degree now next number 2 angle pbr okay so here pbr that means first here you have to join pbr so you have to find out the angle of this portion pbr so here this angle uh angle apb angle apb that one equal to 90 degree because here ab is the diameter so angle apb equal to 90 degree if angle apb equal to 90 degree then this angle angle bpq also 90 degree because apq is a straight line so now in the triangle bpq in the triangle bpq angle pbr is the exterior angle which is equal to angle bpq plus angle pqb that means 90 plus 25 degree so 90 plus 25 it's 115 clear so your second answer 115 Angle PBR equal to one one five. Now the last one you have to find out angle BPR. So angle BPR here angle PRB PRB thirty five degree angle PBR one one five degree. So you have to add this to angle and subtract it from one eighty degree. then your answer will be 30 degree 30 degree equal to bpr okay because in the triangle pbr in the triangle pbr you know the angle prb that is 35 degree you also know that the angle pbr that is 115 degree so the last angle bpr that one equal to 30 degree now next one number b in number b given below it's given that angle abc this one equal to 40 degree and ad is ad is a diameter of the circle clear now calculate dac so if this one equal to 40 degree then definitely this one equal to also 40 degree angles in same segment now if i joined o and c if i join o and c then angle aoc equal to 80 degree angle aoc equal to 80 degree because centric angle is the double of this circumference angle on the same arc so here triangle aoc is an isosceles triangle because oa and oc are radius so this two angles will be equal if the upper one is 80 so this one equal to 50 and this one equal to also 50 because 50 50 100 plus 80 it's 180 in the triangle aoc so your value 
angle DAC equal to 50 degree. Now next one sum number 8. In sum number 8 in the figure given below PQ are center of two circles intersecting at B and C. ACD is a straight line. Calculate the value of X. Okay. So, first here uh, angle APB equal to 130 degree. So, angle ACB equal to half of 130. So, 130 by 2 it is 65. This angle equal to 65 degree. Now, this one angle BCD. Angle BCD 180 minus 65. This one equal to 115 degree. Angle BCD equal to 115 degree. So now I am going to find out the angle BQD, the reflex one. The reflex angle BQD which is the double of this angle BCD. So as here BCD equal to 115. So double of BCD is 230 degree. Clear? Because in this arc BD, okay, the arc in this arc BD, so angle BQD is a centric angle and BCD is the angle on the circumference. So it's double of this one, so 230. Now the value of X degree, value of X degree will be 360 minus 230, that one equal to 130. It's very easy. Now next one, number B. In the given figure below, O is the circumcenter of the triangle ABC in which AC and BC equal. So that means here angle A and angle B are equal because ABC is an isosceles triangle. Now given that ACB equal to 56. So if this angle equal to 56. So first you have to subtract 56 from 180. It is 124. So that means angle A and angle B equal to half of 124. So it is 62 degree. So your first answer C A B equal to 62 degree. It is very easy. Now next you have to find out angle O A C. So first join O B. So if I join O B then O A and O B are equal. Now here in A B arc angle A O B is a centric angle A O B and here ACB the angle on the circumference. So definitely AOB is the double of ACB. So double of 56 that one equal to 112 degree. Now in the triangle, in the triangle AOB, AO equal to OC. That means angle O sorry, angle OAC not OCA. Angle OAC equal to angle OBC. The upper angle equal to 112. So, subtract from 180, it is 68. So, half of 68, it is 34. And that one equal to 34 degree. But, you have to find out angle OAC. So, if this one, this black portion, this one equal to 34 degree. Then, this portion will be 62 minus 34 and that one equal to 28 degree. So, that is your answer. 28 degree. Next one, number 9. In the given figure, chord ED is parallel to the diameter AC. So, if AC and ED parallel, then these two angles are equal. It is called what? Alternative angles. So, here, ED is the arc and in this segment angle EBC equal to 65. So, EAC equal to also 65 degree angles in the same segment. Now, in the triangle AEC, in the triangle AEC, angle AEC equal to 90 degree because AC is the diameter. So, angle in the semicircle always 90 degree. So, now from the triangle AEC, here angle A 65 degree, angle AEC, AEC this black one equal to 90 degree. So, what will be the value of ACB? What will be the value of ACB? Sorry, ACE. 
the value of ACE first you have to add 90 plus 65 it's 155 subtracted from uh, 180 that one equal to 25 degree so if this one equal to 25 degree then angle DEC equal to also 25 degree and that is your answer now next one some number 9b in the given figure C is the point on the minor arc AB of the circle with center O given that angle ACB angle ACB equal to P degree angle AOB equal to Q degree express Q in terms of P calculate P if OA is OACB is a parallelogram ok now here the reflex angle AOB reflex angle AOB that one equal to 2P ok because in this major arc AB angle AOB in the center is double of the angle ACB so it's 2P now here what will be the value of Q Q will be here 360 minus 2P so if I common 2 it will be 180 minus P degree ok so Q equal to 2 into 180 minus P degree this is your first answer express Q in terms of P ok now the next part calculate P if OACB is a parallelogram so in the parallelogram the opposite angle equal to always equal that means angle P equal to angle Q in the place of Q you can write down 360 degree minus 2P so that means here 3P equal to 360 so P equal to 120 degree that is your answer P equal to 120 degree now the last one for this video so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here in sum number 10 in the given figure given below straight lines AB and CD AB and CD pass through the center O of the circle angle OCE 40 degree AOD equal to 75 degree then find the number of degrees in CDE CDE okay and next one OBE CDE and OBE okay so here dc is the diameter so if dc is the diameter then angle dec equal to 90 degree angles on the semicircle now in this triangle dec angle e this one 90 degree here c is 40 degree so definitely this angle equal to 50 degree now here the triangle odb okay odb in this triangle this one here 50 degree and here 75 degree is the exterior angle so what will be the value of angle b this value of angle b will be 75 minus 50 that one equal to 25 degree so angle obe equal to 25 degree this is your second answer now you have to find out cde Oh, CD equal to 55, 50 degree. We already find this one. So, first answer 50 degree and second answer 25 degree. Now, next one, number B. In the figure given below, I is the in center of triangle ABC. AI produced meet the circumcircle of ABC at D. The tri, sorry, in the angle ABC 55 degree, ACB 65 degree, calculate BCD. So here first you have to find out angle BCD so as I is the in center of triangle ABC AI produced to meet circumcircle of triangle ABC at D that means here I lie on the bisector of the angle ABC ok so here AI bisect the angle B a C first you have to find out the full angle BAC that one equal to 180 minus 55 plus 65 
and that one equal to 60 degree. So the bisector of this one that one equal to 30 degree. Now here in BD arc angle BAD and angle BCD. BAD and BCD are equal because angle lie on the same segment are equal. So angle BCD equal to 30 degree. Okay. First answer. Next CBD. Angle CBD and angle CAD. CBD and CAD that one equal to also 30 degree because angle lie on the same segment. CBD and CAD. Now next one. You have to find out angle IBC. So IBC, IBC is the half of 55 degree because IB is the bisector of angle B. So IBC equal to 27 whole. Okay, hold on, IBC equal to 27.5 degree. Now you have to find out DCI and BIC. B I C. So again find out I C B that is half of 65 that is 32.5. So what will be the value of angle B I C? B I C equal to 180 minus addition of this two angle. 180 minus addition of this two angle that one equal to 60. So B I C equal to 120 degree. BIC equal to 120 degree. Now the last one ICD. ICD means 65 degree plus here 32 point uh, 32 point uh, sorry uh, ICD. So hold on hold on ICD. ICD means here angle ICB angle ICB plus angle here dc suppose this one here o so dco so here dco equal to 30 degree and icb equal to 32.5 32.5 so your final answer 62.5 degree okay your final answer 62.5 degree